You're tuned in to watch this with Eric and Brandon, the show where we make a friend watch a movie or a TV show that they've never seen before. What do they think about it? Is their opinion the same as ours? That's what we're going to find out. On today's episode, Eric and I are going to discuss Casino. And I've seen the movie a bunch of times. Eric just watched it for the first time. And we'll get Eric's reaction to the movie. And uh, as, his, uh, as his viewing as a first-time viewer and my reaction as someone who's seen it before. Also, we're going to discuss our favorite scenes and where it ranks a mother, uh, among other mob and gangster movies. There's a lot of great ones. There is. Oh, a lot of and really spoiler alert, we have a little, but we're going to talk a bit about it. We don't go into too much detail yeah. about the plot in this show, but uh, there's some things that we might uh, spoil for you. So. Yeah, the reason why we uh, say spoiler alert right off the top is just because we're not going to be watching ourselves to, to make sure we're not spoiling anything. Yeah. We're just going to talk about the movie, and if we happen to spoil something, it's going to slip out and we're not going to watch ourselves. So if you haven't seen the movie before, go watch the movie. Come back here. We'll be here. So uh, you can watch us uh, at any time. I would say watch the movie first if you haven't seen it yet. All right, let's get right into the background. Casino, 1995. This one was released. It's directed by Martin Scorsese. Stars Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, and Joe Pesci. And they based the movie on the book Casino, Love, and Honor in Las Vegas by Nicholas Pileggi. Yeah. And he actually co-wrote the uh, screenplay with Scorsese. That's right. And they worked together before, too, on That's Goodfellas, right. another movie that we're going to discuss a little bit later Absolutely. on in the show. And uh, so this movie actually was a huge success. It uh, had a budget between 40 and $50 million, made about $116 million at the box office. And uh, it was based on a true story, just like uh, Goodfellas was. And uh, this book was uh, written about this true story. Unlike Goodfellas, where they actually used real names. Mm -hmm. They used oh, names they? like oh, Henry right. Hill, Hill and, yeah. and stuff like that. In this movie, they changed the names, uh, I guess, to protect the guilty. Is that uh, yeah, yeah. what we'll say? Uh, so Robert De Niro's character was uh, Sam Rothstein, Sam Ace Roth Rothstein in the movie. And uh, he was based on a guy named Frank Rosenthal, who ran several casinos in Las Vegas during the 70s and 80s. Uh, Joe Pesci's character, one of the greatest, uh, Nicky Santoro, was based on a real-life gangster. Anthony Spilotro, who moved moved down to Vegas and kind of became the uh, muscle for uh, Rothstein and then um, or the real guy Rosenthal mm -hmm. and uh, the great performance by Sharon Stone she played Ginger McKenna and she was based on a real person as well her name was uh, Jerry McGee she was kind of a socialite in Las Vegas and she was married to uh, Rosenthal yeah and her performance was praised uh, and yeah. earned her a Golden Globe Award for best actress in a motion picture drama and nominated for an Academy Award right. which arguably she could have won she I don't probably know who won that won. year but yeah. she did a great job. And, she uh, did an incredible job, and it's surprising that that was the only thing that it was nominated for at the Oscars, the Golden Globes. Yeah. The only nomination they got was for Sharon Stone's performance, which is a very interesting because it was fairly well reviewed. I mean, uh, looking at Rotten Tomatoes in 2019, 79 percent, mostly uh, positive reviews. The only real negatives were the extreme violence. Yeah, there was. It was. It was pretty violent. <laughs> Very I mean, violent. There's some scenes we'll talk a bit about that yes. later on because uh, there's some some parts where you're just like, ooh. Like not a lot yeah. of stuff bothers me in movies, right. but there are some parts in that that are like, wow, they really uh, push the limit there. Right. I mean, in this day and age. You know, if you've been watching movies for the last 20 years... Well, look at The Sopranos. Right. Like, well, you haven't seen that no, yet, I but haven't, that's but just as violent. Yeah, There's we've, we've seen it all at this point. Yeah. And, uh, but back then, I mean, 1995, it was still... It would have been I mean, shocking. They were still doing violence in movies, yeah. but they were pushing it to the limit right. at that point. Absolutely. Certainly in this movie. So let's get to your prediction. Uh, yeah. First of all, what did you think... Uh, we were going to be seeing here. Well, going in, I knew this uh, was going to be a gangster movie, and I knew it was a Scorsese, De Niro, Pesci, you know, like I knew it was one of those kinds of movies. Yeah. Um, I didn't really know what the, the plot was going to be. It's called Casino. I figured it's probably based in Las Vegas. <laughs> Good guess. Yeah, yeah, and I knew that there was a lot of mob activity there back in the day, so I thought probably about uh, casinos, <laughs> and it's a, it's a mob movie. I didn't know the exact plot, and actually... You know, we just talked a little bit about the background, how the characters were based on real people. I didn't know that it was based on a true story. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a completely fictional story. So, yeah, didn't really know much. I just knew probably a mob movie based in Las Vegas. And so. I said I knew you'd like it. No, oh, yeah. you did, because I know you like mob movies. Uh, let's get your reaction then right away. Well, like you said, love mob movies, mm -hmm. love gangster movies. I actually, um, when I was in high school, I took a film class, uh -huh. and we had to pair off into groups at the end of the year and do a project on one specific genre of movies. Everybody had to pick a specific oh, okay. genre. And me and my buddies did gangster movies. Oh, nice. And we showed clips in high school <laughs> film class <laughs> from, like, from, from famous movies. gangster movies. Like which ones? Yeah. Do, you, do you have any off the top of your head? Yeah. 
lots of swearing, yeah. lots of violence, <laughs> and uh, we just we did because hey, it was just this is the genre we chose. You asked us, yeah, to you do it. told us to get <laughs> clips from the movie. So anyway, I love this genre of movies. I wanted to watch this one for quite a while. It's one that I've heard uh, quite a lot about because it's very very popular. Now I like how the movie begins because I think title sequences are mm -hmm. underrated a lot of times. A good title sequence really sets the tone. Yeah, exactly, for the movie. it sets up the movie what you're going to be right. And, and this one was great because it starts off with you know De Niro getting into his car and the explosion right yeah. off the bat, which and is the great. Lights and the the fire in the background, right? Going zoomed on. in yeah. onto the casino lights yeah. and all this kind of stuff. Really, really cool. And that explosion creates like an instant cliffhanger yeah. that doesn't you, really pay you know, off until happens. much later. Yeah, yeah it's and a so, three-hour movie, right? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, I, I thought the intro was very, very cool. And what a great way to start the movie. One of the great uh, opening sequences, I think. Um, there are a lot of things I noticed in this movie that are uh, very familiar and left no doubt in my mind that this was a Scorsese mm -hmm. <laughs> movie. I mean, there are a lot of things that were consistent. Rolling Stone songs, De Niro, Pesci, all that kind of stuff. But also, it's very similar to Goodfellas yeah, in a lot of ways. It is. It is. We mentioned Nicholas uh, Pileggi, the author, wrote the book. Um, I think it was called Wise Guys. I okay. think that was the book that Goodfellas was based on. He also wrote Casino. They wrote those two movies together, the screenplay. So. You know, it's written by the you same people, directed, yeah. same actors. It's very, very similar. Also, the fact that it's narrated through the whole movie. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's by, you know, De Niro and Pesci narrate the, the movie. In uh, in Goodfellas, it's just Henry Hill who's kind of narrating the whole thing. But that using that as a um, device to move the plot along is very Scorsese-like. Yeah. Very Scorsese-like, very similar. And... Um, <laughs> There's one scene in particular. I mean, the uh, I guess we'll call it the House of the Rising Sun yeah, scene, it's not idiot, which yeah. is which is classic. And you know, House of the Rising Sun is playing. People are getting whacked, and we're jumping from place to place. And yeah, you know, there's sure. all this violence that immediately reminded me of the Layla scene in Goodfellas, where the second half of Layla is playing. Yeah, you know, with the piano and everything, and people are getting whacked <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. It's just like. It's it's like they took their favorite things from Goodfellas and just like why don't we just do it in this yeah. movie too and so that's uh, that's kind of interesting also um, you know the similar uh, I will say the similarities do take away from the movie uh, a little bit for me uh, there are a few issues I have the length it is long it's too long three hours yeah. it doesn't need to be a three hour it movie. doesn't need to be a three hour movie I I mean there are movies that I like that are very very long like that but. Yeah, I just they could have cut yeah. a lot of it out. This this type of movie, I don't think has to be uh, three hours long. Yeah, and, and it's hard to think of what they would cut out because I mean everything they they put in there was interesting, but it's like I don't know. It just yeah. it, it, this one felt like it dragged on for me a little bit. Yeah, it did. I, I think the the scenes with um, James Woods as uh, Sharon yeah. Stone's love interest, uh, we know they've got a past. I mean, they could have. It didn't. It may have taken away from the movie yeah. just because of the fact that that he. Um, he was so slimy, and uh, you know he was he was asking her for the money and all that stuff. Yeah, and yeah. She was bringing him the money, and then I don't know. I think they could have cut out a lot of that anyway. I think, um, yeah, they they probably could have. I think it was, uh, you know, they kind of needed that conflict of, you know, Sam uh, wants to be married to her, but she has this person mm -hmm. that she still, you know, is in contact with, it's even on their part wedding of the day. Story, yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think that adds to the story, and the fact that this is a true story is uh, very interesting as well. I love the performances in the movie. I mean, you know. Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Legendary. Sharon Stone is a, an award-winning performance. I mean, the performances were great, and uh, I like that there's a lot of humor in this movie. For a movie that gets very dark, for a movie that gets very violent mm -hmm. at times, I like that it was funny. There's some comic relief <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, there is, which is a weird choice. <laughs> but it works. But it works. Yeah. I kind of like that. And, uh, you know, I mentioned off the top, this is a genre of movies that I really love. I love gangster movies, but um, and it's a good one. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, one it's, it's not it one of my favorites. Top, yeah. It wouldn't be my favorite, so we'll talk about our favorites uh, a little bit later on. But you've seen this movie before. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think it still holds strong to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, again, I'm a fan of gangster movies and mob movies, and I love Goodfellas. And uh, it holds up the same as uh, when I saw it the first time. The yeah. one complaint I do have is the length of the movie, again, uh, as we just discussed. And uh, I liked how they did use the narration throughout the movie, um, too, you know, and uh, telling the story. 
uh, and and the one thing that I really liked was the dialogue. Some of the dialogue yeah. between De Niro and Pesci. There were two scenes in particular. The one scene when he um, when they're out in the desert, when uh, Nikki's yeah. you know falling apart basically, and and uh, and just the back and forth with the two of them. And then there's another scene in the house uh, when. Uh, um, He's trying to when he wants his money back from the banker, right? And, uh, and I'll use the, I'll use the service it. entrance. Yeah, yeah. He's talking <laughs> he comes yeah. in with like, oh, of course. They're speaking in code yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, and Sharon Stone winning her uh, Golden Globe for her role as Ginger. Um, and I said earlier, she could. Uh, we, we could argue that she could have won the Academy Award. Yeah. She starts out with this beautiful Vegas hustler, and then she just descends into <laughs> yeah. a Anarchy. junkie, and, yeah. and it just uh, it falls apart. Um, what else? I, I like the opening sequence as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean that's that's about it, really. I mean, the, I do think it's a little violent, but you yeah. need that in a, in a mobster movie. That's true. And you know, we're about to talk here about our our favorite gangster movies, and obviously that's a theme yeah. <laughs> that runs through all of these. It's a violent world. And if you're going to make a movie about it, I mean... You might as well. Yeah, it's almost dishonest. Well, yeah. To well, yeah, why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Now, there were extremely violent scenes in, in Casino, like the head in the vice yeah. scene. That was real. That, that actually, actually happened. happened. Yeah. Which, and everything that happens in that scene... Pretty much, a guy's eye comes out of his head. Yeah. Apparently, that happened. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, I couldn't imagine. Did we need to see that? <laughs> yeah, probably. Not. Probably, but not. you know, that's that's what they're going yep. for. They're going for shock value. That's too. life. I mean, that's uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's life. That's right. Life in the mob. Life guess. in the mob. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, let's go to mob movies that and gangster movies. What? Uh, how do we want to do this? Well, you want to list our favorites? Why don't we? Why don't we just uh, go through some of our favorites and then maybe quickly come up with a, a, a list in, okay. in just a moment here? So why don't we just start with the goat, Godfather? The Godfather. Yeah. I mean, the Godfather is unbelievable. Yeah. I think it's. Uh, well, I mentioned when we talked about Citizen Kane. I thought the Godfather is the greatest movie of all time. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's your opinion. You know, and uh, I think it's the. I think it's the greatest. I, I mean, I think it's number one, regardless of what genre we're talking mm -hmm. about. I mean, it's just incredible. It's so well done. Well, very well. Done. The first two. Yes, one and and Godfather two. We have yeah. to mention Godfather two because that is uh, incredible as well. So many iconic moments. See, this is one thing I wanted to mention also about um, Casino, is that. As we were watching the movie, I was waiting for a scene to pop up that I could go, oh, yeah, okay, I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing. Like, what do you mean? You've seen it in a movie? Or, or just like, I, I thought there would be at least one scene or one moment in the movie where I would have been like, okay, I've seen that online, or I've oh, seen that okay. talked about, yeah. or I've seen that in but compilations. there was nothing like that. There was that, nothing yeah. in the movie that I had seen before. Okay. Like... I'm sure there are moments from the God, like people quote the Godfather and they've never seen the Godfather, yeah. right? I'm sure Lucas, uh, who is sitting over here with us, he's never seen the Godfather before, right? Okay, you probably know some of the famous lines, right? You've oh, yeah. heard of, you've heard of, um, you know, Alfred, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, <laughs> people know that kind of stuff, and Goodfellas has moments in it's some just, of these it's movies. It's a classic line. So it's, it's a classic even line. Even if you haven't seen the movie, it doesn't really matter. You know exactly where it's from, even if you don't That's know right. who says it or you haven't seen it. It's exactly right. It's a classic movie moment, and there just were none in Casino, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. So, anyway, The Godfather, we'll start there. What are some of your others? Uh, well, Goodfellas, like yeah. you said, obviously. Um, Pulp Fiction was another yeah. good one. Good gangster movie. The yep. way they uh, put the story together in, like, it's almost like in the day of the life kind of thing. Yeah. Like, everybody's day, and then it congregates at the end, and then everything... Uh, just, uh, yeah, and, and again, violent and... Yeah. Well, it is a Tarantino yeah, movie. Yeah, Tarantino so, movie. Well written. Yes, the writing very, is incredible. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Scarface? Scarface, yeah, yeah, that's another good one. Very good, and uh, that, again, has iconic movie moments in it, right? Yeah. Say hello to my little friend, <laughs> yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And, and so that one, yeah, that was another hyper-violent one, and uh, very, very cool. The Untouchables... That's um, one I haven't seen, yeah. See, in our last episode, we talked about our favorite movies of the, the 1980s, yeah. and that was on my top ten list uh, from that decade, and I really love it as a gangster movie. Not historically accurate, like Casino 
and Goodfellas. Was that based on a true story or no? It, well, the, you know, Al Capone is in it and Elliot Ness and all these people. It's not, I mean, most of the characters are fictionalized in it. Yeah. Um, and uh, most of the stuff that happens did not happen in real life, but a really good gangster movie as well. Um, what about some uh, more modern ones? I've got Donnie Brasco. Yeah. Um, Johnny Depp. I, we both read the book. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, really great book. And, uh, yeah, the book... and. They bring the book to life in the movie, and Johnny yeah. Depp does a really good job as this jewel thief that uh, you know yeah. shows up out of nowhere and then, then you know infiltrates the mob as yeah. an FBI agent. Yeah. And uh, that story is just a is a good one. Um, Absolutely. And, and he plays another mobster, Whitey Bulger, in Black Mass, which uh, Whitey Bulger was one of the most notorious uh, Boston mobsters and, and a uh, great performance in that movie. And uh, and then we just heard like what was it last year when he was. Uh, Whitey oh. Bulger was murdered yeah. in his jail cell. <laughs> like the guy was in jail. Yeah. What was he like? Eighty something, something years like old. That, yeah. And violently murdered in his jail cell. <laughs> that just shows you. That's the way he went out. Yeah. He lived <laughs> that, that just life shows you then, what kind of a guy yeah, he was exactly. on the outside. Uh, that's a great one. One that I think a lot of people sleep on, and maybe a lot of people don't talk about, is a movie called Road to Perdition. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard of it. I'm yeah. not aware of it though. Great movie. I think it's from 2002. Something okay. like that. Tom Hanks, um, Daniel Craig, Jude Law, one of the final Paul Newman, great Paul Newman That's performances. A great cast. Wow. Really incredible cast. And um, I think it's uh, Irish, Irish gangster kind of movie, mm -hmm. and you have to see it. I'm going to make you watch that one at some point. All right. Really, really good, and one of my favorites. So if you had to rank them, you know, what, what would you say are your top five? My top five, <clears throat> um, I'm going, I'm going Goodfellas number one oh, for okay. me. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, uh, I really like that one. Um, then The Godfather. And, hmm. It's tough. Yeah. There's a lot of good ones. Goodfellas, Godfather, Pulp Fiction, Donnie Brasco, and... Godfather Let's two. go Godfather 2. Okay. Yeah. Mine is uh, Godfather 1, Godfather 2, <laughs> Goodfellas. Um, see, now this is where it gets tough. Yeah. The first three are, are very good. I'm going to say The Untouchables, Road to Perdition. Okay. That's my top five. There you go. Love that. So favorite scenes. Let's, uh, let's go to your favorite scenes. Well... Uh, we talked about the House of the Rising Sun yeah. scene, and uh, I mentioned how it was very similar to the Goodfellas Layla scene, and you know it really is. But I, I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was a nice sequence, and obviously Scorsese is good at that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and it, it was really well done, sweet sequence. So I like that one. What about you? Um, the opening sequence you yes. mentioned uh, when he's flying through the air, they're showing the casino lights, and then how they are showing how the money is moving through the casino. Right. Yeah. Right? So they're they're showing the money roll through the like the quarters and they're counting the cash and uh, they've got the guy coming in to pick up the money yeah. and they're telling that story about how they're uh, how they are skimming from the casino yep. um, it takes the money back home yeah back yeah. home yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I like that they never say where back home is. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> they just, just like, keep saying yeah, back home. Just guessing where it is. Apparently, in, in real life, it was Chicago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so the Chicago mobsters. Um, lots of good parts. When the cheaters are at the table. Oh, yeah. That's the cattle prod? Yeah, the cattle prod. Yeah. And then when they take them into the back room, and yeah. they're like, well, ask him uh, what hands he uh, he writes with. Or, I yeah. think he asked him that. And oh, so you're right. He writes and, and then just <laughs> pulverizes oh, his oh, hand with God. a hammer. Yeah. yeah. like That was a good one. And, Incredible. Uh, Joe Pesci when they're in the bar, um, and this is a good narrated part by De Niro because he's yeah. telling about how much of a bulldog that Pesci is. Yeah, and yeah. The guy disrespects <laughs> Ace. And, yeah. Uh, is this your pen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Joe Pesci comes with the pen and just. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like stabs him so many times, <laughs> yeah. and you don't know if he dies because he's he's weeping. Like, What's he's, the, that's the thing. The guy's making noise on the floor yeah. after being stabbed. 30 times with a pen, <laughs> yeah. and then being kicked over Joe and Pesci over. Just keeps kicking just and I love how De Niro says, uh, he goes, if you come at him with a knife, or, yeah, if he comes at, what is it? If you come at him with a knife, you better come back with a gun. Yeah, yeah. If you come back with a gun, you better make sure he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Because he won't stop until no. you are, sort of thing. Absolutely. Um, another part when Joe Pesci and their crew make the move to Las Vegas. Yeah. And that's, yeah, I think the Rolling Stones are playing in that. Oh, and then probably. when they're running and they're, uh, <laughs> 
they're stealing all the jewelry. They're redoing all these break-ins. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and just that whole sequence, the way it was put together, like they're showing them in different houses and yeah. different robberies, beating people up. Knocking the hole in the wall. Yeah, putting the hole in the wall. In real life, they were actually called the Hole in the Wall Gang. Oh, or were that's they? like their nickname, oh, okay. which is kind of uh, taken from. Uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, they okay. call themselves the Hole in the Wall Game. But yeah, like they actually uh, did that in real life. Because <laughs> they had people inside the banks or whatever, whatever they were robbing, yeah. like secretaries or whatever, who would tell them. They would let them know. Yeah, yeah here's, here's where the security and, yeah. is, here's where people go home, all this kind of stuff. And the best way to do it, yeah. go through the wall. And so they did, um, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's that's about it for me for the uh, for the favorite scenes. I mean, there was the uh, the House of the Rising Sun, right. the Head and the Vice. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't know if it was yeah, a favorite, it's not a scene, favorite. but it was it was something I think See, like, needed to be in there. It it almost seemed like the first hour of the movie was uh, narrated. Yeah, I mean, it's narrated all the way through, but it seems like it's almost exclusively narrated for the first like maybe not hour, but you know, for a good, good portion of, of the it, opening yeah. of the movie. Um, we're just seeing scenes with no dialogue, really, or maybe like they're talking to each other, but we don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. It's just all being narrated. And so it was hard for me to pick a scene from that time in the movie, although the pen scene, yes. yeah, I, I have to admit, <laughs> just, to, just for the humor of it. But again, very violent, yeah. but hilarious. <laughs> I mean, really funny, which is strange. Uh, what about favorite characters? My, well, Joe Pesci. Yeah, Joe he, Pesci. He was uh, Nicky Santoro. Uh, he was a bad person. Yes. A terrible, <laughs> terrible person. Yeah. But he was funny. He yeah. added comic relief. Um, and and he just does such a good job yeah. in it. His chemistry with uh, De Niro. Yeah, is like we talked about their dialogue yeah. and the back and forth. And I mean, they're obviously used to working with each other. Yeah. Um, what? Which character do you like better? Because you put Goodfellas as your number one gangster movie. Yeah. Who do you like better, him in this movie or him in Goodfellas? Oh. I think Goodfellas. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, they're both great performances, and he was hilarious in yeah. this movie, as well as violent and crazy and everything. Well, yeah, he almost played this, it was almost like he was the same Very character, similar. because yeah. he was a terrible person in yeah. Goodfellas oh, as absolutely. well. But I, I still, yeah, his, his performance and in, in Goodfellas. Again, was, iconic moments, yeah. you know, funny how. Yeah. You know, like, like, clown, I knew <laughs> you. And like, that... We just, we don't have a scene like that in this movie. I wish we did. I yeah. wish there was one scene that I could pick out. I mean, people, I don't know this for sure, but people probably talk about the violence when mm -hmm. they talk about Casino, right? Yeah. I would imagine that's what jumps to people's minds. Yeah, because Goodfellas but, had some, but not as much as no, Casino. Casino not as much. Casino almost took it to the next level. Oh, it really did. Yeah. It really did. But anyway, um, yeah, I agree. Nikki Santoro, my favorite character, and we have to talk about uh, Sharon Stone as well. Yeah. We've already mentioned that she won the Golden Globe, nominated for an Oscar. I mean, that uh, uh, performance was incredible. Yeah, she starts out with this beautiful hustler, you know, yeah. Setting up guys at the um, at the valets. Right. And she's just connected everywhere, <laughs> yeah. and then just the descent that she just takes. She's just spiraling. Yeah, yeah <laughs> descent. Gets addicted to cocaine. Yeah. She's drinking. She's strung out all the time, and uh, you know, doing cocaine in front of the kid right. with uh, James Woods yeah. in the hotel oh, room. Oh, jeez, and, and James Woods, the way he's talking, and he's to that just, kid is just oh my god. Uh, he, he actually, that's one character that that was kind of funny in yeah. there too that we'll throw in with that because uh, he's just this shady. Oh, he really. Yes. That, you know. <laughs> there was uh, one moment that I thought was kind of funny with uh, De Niro that, for me, the first thing I thought when I saw it was, that reminds me of his uh, Meet the Parents character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was when uh, they're at the party, oh. and um, De Niro is there with uh, Sharon Stone, and the young guy walks up to uh, Sharon Stone and says, oh, yeah. you're the most gorgeous uh, woman I've ever seen. You're a very lucky man. <laughs> and he just goes... Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> that from, I don't know why. That reminded me of him in the, in yeah, the, the parents. Yeah. He has that same kind of temperament, demeanor, that same yeah. Yeah, demeanor. Like, oh, and then he fired thank you for that compliment. Day. Yeah, <laughs> I fired him the next day. Yeah, oh, that is so great. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I got. All right. Is this movie woke? Brandon, could this movie be released as is in 2019? Well, let's get into this. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to next yeah, week. Next um, week's show. So next week's episode is going to be uh, my pick. It's going to be The Jerk. Yes. Now Steve this, Martin. Steve Martin, one of the greatest comedies of all time, one of the funniest movies of all time. And you've uh, never I've seen never this seen movie. I've never seen it, no. But, but you've you heard a little bit about, about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, a couple of our coworkers here have uh, raved about it over the years as well. I mean, it's... 
hilarious and i think you're going to be laughing uh, like crazy so that's the one we're going to watch we're going to go back to comedy and uh that's next week on watch this for brandon and uh for our producers uh, lucas joe and shelby i'm eric you're tuned in to watch this thanks see you next time